right, guys, this is the 33rd hired request on the 2018 list. It's probably the thousandth hired request I've done of all time. 33 on the 2018 list. Can't Help Falling in Love. It's a Kena Granis cover. Look it up on YouTube. Very cool arrangement. I can kind of sing a little bit lower than I usually do. Uh, it's really is down there for my range. I probably could sing it up an octave a, a couple of hours later. Anyway, we're going to do the part one lesson here. All the lessons for this will be on my website, webpianoteacher.com. It's in the YouTube description there in the video description. The link is there, and you can check out my website. I have over 5,000 videos now, so great landmark for that for all of the people out there learning. And let's get started here with uh, part one lesson. We start with CFA on the right. And I do recommend listening to the original, what I'm going from. Again, it's Kina, K-I-N-A, Grannis. Can't help falling in love. Cover of this song. CFA on the right. One, two, four, left hand will do an F octave. Two counts. One, two. This is the introduction. Count three and four will be a G chord. We have an F chord. Now we're going to have a G chord, D, G, B with one, three, five, left hand on G octave. So it's one, two, three, four. And I will mention to you, I can just picture us or hear a student <laughs> sitting next to me. I taught for 20 years uh, before I started doing this online, even after that. But uh, I can just hear you guys pounding that left hand. Do it softer. The, you know, it's just chords. And you don't want to have too much of that left hand octave for the balance. All right, the next uh, measure is E, A, C, left hand on A octave, one. Count two will be ba, ba, ba. Especially here, don't go ba, ba, you know, one. Da, da, da. Kind of lilting. It's it's six, eight time. Might, might be 12, eight. I don't know how they do it, but it's definitely a, a triple meter of some sort. And you just want to lilt it. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, so the A minor. And that A is just the thumb of the left hand, and then the right hand E. So one, two, and a three. Count three will be back to an F chord. CFA, left hand on an F. Four. So the first two measures are one, two, three, four. One, da, 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 three, four. So it is really 12, eight. One, da, da, two, do, do, three, e, e, four, four, four. So there are four big beats, and then there's three little beats inside each of those four. One. Two, three, four, four. Then we have the next measure. Two, uh, three, four. So we have a C chord. You probably know that if you played piano at all. E, G, C in the right hand. One, two, five. Left hand on a C octave. One, two in the left hand. Thumb on a C. Then the right hand E. There, one. Da, da, da. Now three, four. Da, da. So this is a G chord, but it has a C mixed in there to give it a little dissonance, okay? So if you just isolate it and play it, you may go, oh, that doesn't sound good. But in the context, it'll sound just fine, especially if you don't play too loudly. G, B, C on the right. Left hand on a G. Count three. You play it again on count four. The left hand thumb, right hand G. So three, four, and uh, that whole measure is one. And uh, okay, and then we're just going to go back to the C chord. We're going to do it four counts like it is, is indicated there with the four. E, G, C with one, two, five, left hand on a C. One, two, three, four. So the whole intro is one, two, G chord, A minor, one, da, 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 three, one, ba, 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 ba. two, three. There we 
we go. I think that's good for our part one. Then we'll finish it on the website, and I'll show you kind of how to vamp a little bit on these chords. In fact, this will be a very good song arrangement to start trying to vamp if you've never done it before. Vamping is just where you have a chord and you start playing rhythms with that chord, not necessarily doing anything uh, you know, spectacular with a melody or anything. You're just marking time on a chord, and a lot of people have trouble with that. It's a great skill to have. All right, guys, talk to you later. See you on webpianoteacher.com.